Uh, say hi, good morning. Oh, stretch. Yeah, say hi, good morning, everybody. We're gonna go outside. Good morning, human. Say good morning, people. Okay, so now it's crazy. Every morning, we go out, she goes crazy. And there she goes to see if there's dogs to bark at. Is there no dogs to bark at right now? This is why we hate spending $25 a month for valet garbage. Because we have legs and we can throw away our own garbage. It's 8.20 and we're finally going to the gym. We woke up at like, what time did we wake up? Quarter to eight because yeah. we turned off our alarms and this is the latest start we've gotten to go to the gym like ever. <laughs> so we're a little off schedule today, but that's okay because it's Keith Urban Day. So off to Anytime Fitness. Oh, and five minutes later, we are at our gym, Anytime Fitness. It's literally like five minutes from the house and there's literally like never anybody here. Although there's like cars here today. It's gonna be so busy with four people here. We like Anytime Fitness. It's clean and has nice equipment. Time to work out. Workout is done. It's really hot here. It's 79. It feels like it's like 90. Yeah, it feels hot. It's 79. Now we have to go home, eat breakfast, and go grocery shopping. Okay, it's my turn to drive the Mustang. I only drive it five minutes a day because I'm scared to break it. I'm driving the Mustang. So this is Jess driving yep. right now. Gonna... She's currently probably frightened. <laughs> she gets so afraid. I'm so she afraid. always travels in the middle lane. Okay, yeah, that's her least favorite lane because to travel in. The lanes here are very narrow on Falls of Noose Road. And Jess has this thing called no depth perception, so she can't tell how far things are from her. But I also feel like depth perception has nothing to do with peripheral vision, but Matt disagrees No, with depth me. perception is being able to determine the distance of something moving towards you. Ooh, look at her go! Look at me go! Look at my good parking job. See, that's our cool car. And that's our mom car. <laughs> we are home and we're gonna be greeted by none other than Big Hi baby boy! Hi Chin Chin! Okay, now it's breakfast time. So the doggy food <laughs> soaks in some water so that's easier for them to digest it. And then we have our Michael's English muffins. We gotta make some a little scrambled egg. For our eggs, or what is it called? Our English muffin sandwich. Mm -hmm. And then we have our weirdly shaped pork sausage patties cooking. Food right now? Do you want your doggy food? Tampi, are you wanting your doggy breakfast? Yeah? Love this doggy food. It's the open farm salmon. They eat it like they've never been fed before. This is their little doggy station. So cute. No, are you okay? My paws are very You have itchy. eye boogers on your head. I got eye goo on my face. No, no. Okay. Oh, I'm, my hands are burning. camera. So we have two full eggs and two egg yolks. We use pasture, oh sorry, Vital Farms pasture raised eggs because they're actually raised on pastures. But you don't need to eat egg white omelets to be healthy. All the nutrients from eggs, the good vitamins, and all the good stuff is in the yolk. A lot of times people have a hard time digesting eggs because the egg white is actually the part that's... No, 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 no! Stop! Hey. No, you two, you cannot play like that. 
Sorry for the interruption. Anyways, don't try to eat a bunch of egg whites. You can actually eat less eggs when you eat the nutrient dense part of the egg, which is the yolk. So we eat two full eggs and two egg yolks, mix it up, and we're gonna make our little egg thingies. I'll show you next. So we're making our little egg things for English muffins. So we found this idea on kitchen.com and you take wide glass mason jar lids. We usually do it like with the rim up. We're gonna try it with the rim down. So every time we kind of fuck this up, but we'll see. So then we pour a little bit in here. The problem is we cook the sausage first and we think it's making the pan too hot and that's why the bottom is burning a little. Actually, I think this might be the right way to do this, babe. Yeah. Yeah, I think it makes more sense this way. So basically we just fill each of these little things. We have a ton of butter. Yes, butter in the pan. Also the grease from the sausage because Hashtag eat real fat. Okay, so we'll let these sit and then we're gonna flip them. Look at this disaster. Okay, because see how it gets like burnt like this? Does anybody know how to do this the right fucking way? <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three, go. That did not work. I have to look at this recipe again. It worked way better the other way, I think, actually. Because now they're like cute little circles but there are circles plus. Oh my God. <laughs> hey. I thought we were, well they look, this part looks okay. Okay, I'm super dirty. I smell like butt. <laughs> I didn't get to shower after we worked out. And ate breakfast and I'm stinky. It's the natural deodorant life. So we are going to wash the car because Matt likes to wash the car all the time. And then we're going to grocery shop. And then tonight we're going to Keith Urban. Orders are done. Deposited some money in a savings account. So did all our adulting, doing more adulting, and then we can go to Keith Urban. There's Matt cleaning our wheels, making the car all pretty. While I just sit in the AC. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> our workout today totally kicked our butts, and um, I'm sitting in the car waiting for Matt to finish washing the car, and I feel like I could pass out. I may need a nap before we go to Keith Urban. Oh my god, the camera's wobbling. Because I can't drink coffee. So, either nap or coffee, we shall see. But I cannot fall asleep. Okay, car is clean. Now we're going to Sprouts, just to get one thing. Okay, we are at Sprouts. All we have to get here is tortillas and kombucha. So this is a very unexciting trip. That's kind of annoying. Okay, got kombucha. Trying this new one from Living GTS Foods Summer Edition Unity Kombucha. <laughs> We met some dude that when we were looking at the kombucha started educating us on all the kombucha and suggested this one. So we shall see. Now off to Southern Craft Butcher. No, Lafayette right, Village, wrong way. Going to Southern Craft. Our new favorite butcher. Whole animal butchery. Is that a word, butchery? Yeah, I think so. Look, Southern Craft. All right, we got our uh, meat from Southern Craft Butcher up in Lafayette Village in North Raleigh. And now we have to go all the way to South Raleigh to go to the farmer's market, which is like 27 minutes away. Get some of our produce and then go home. And then I can finally take off my hat and wash my dirty ass hair. Farmer's market. Get our shrimps. Stinky fish place. Okay, we have finished our grocery shopping adventure today. It is freaking hot as hell here. It says 91 on my Apple Watch, but that's lying. It's like 100. Keith Urban is gonna be super hot tonight. Like figuratively and literally. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, we're going home, I'm gonna put our groceries away, and I need to take a shower. Totally miss it. That's what the new Wegmans grocery store is gonna be. Everybody in North Carolina is very excited for Wegmans. Okay, we just got back from our groceries. Chippy, say hi, people. So we'll show you what we picked up. Okay, so we got Southern Crab. We got their beef and bacon ground beef. We'll probably use this for something, burgers or something. Yeah, probably. And then we got more cabbage to make more sauerkraut. We got some fresh scallions. Oh, I just hit my head on the light. They're actually looking good. Those look really good, don't mm -hmm. they, compared to that one time. We got radishes. I hate that these are not loose and they're in a freaking plastic bag, but whatever. Um, we're going to try to ferment these. I saw someone on Instagram do that. Then we got shrimps, tortillas, of course. Oh my god, I hit my head on the lamp again. We got English uh, Michael's English muffins. Cilantro, I don't even remember what that's for. Massive sweet potatoes. I don't know what that's for. I don't remember. These zucchini and yellow squash is for our pork and shrimp thing we're gonna make. And then we got a chuck roast to make cold beef tacos, which is what this is for. Maybe the cilantro's for that. Could be. Yeah, I don't remember. So then we got mass washing our purified U reusable bags. We put all of our produce in those when we're shopping and bulk stuff and except for stuff like meat, which you can't do that way. Um, that's pretty much it. We spent like, we think we spent like 80 bucks on all this. Probably. Yeah, so yeah, that's our groceries. Okay, this is intense lighting. So I have to get ready for the concert meaning I have to wash this dirty hair. I don't think I've washed my hair in a week and get ready. And I have my favorite mirror thing. Like when we lived in Chicago or in Illinois, I had my vanity with this mirror, this light I'm going to show you in a second, mounted behind my vanity so it was easy. Um, so we just totally rigged a little contraption so this will work for me. So let me show you that. And I also want to show you my cleaning cloths. Okay. So this is my glam core light. See it? So it's like a traveling makeup beauty light um, with LED lights. I've had it for like three years now. It's awesome. But before I had like, you know, a vanity and we had this light mounted behind it and then I could just put my mirror on my vanity table. Well, now I don't have a vanity, which is fine because I don't wear makeup as much anymore, but we had to figure out how to get a mirror in this situation. I hated having to like put the light by the counter and then having a mirror. So. We can literally, Matt, just like rig this cheap shitty mirror with a zip tie. So we're gonna use that. And then these are my cleaning cloths. I know this looks dirty as hell, but actually it's clean. I use e cloths. We don't use a lot of like high chemical cleaning products, but these microfiber cloths are awesome. So this is the window cleaning one, and then this is the polish. So you wipe the window or glass or mirrors down with this, and then you um, polish it with that. So I'm gonna do that really quick and show you how much better it looks. So this is the before very dirty mirror and I'll be right back boom that's the after so it's so much cleaner so basically you just wet this one with water wipe it off and then dry it off with the polishing cloth and you get this super clean mirror without using Windex boom all right I gotta get ready look I don't look dirty anymore mommy's all clean champ say hi look at mommy knows how to shower <laughs> Right, no, no. Say hi. All clean. Gotta eat and then go to the Keith Urban. Right, Champ Champ? Tortilla? Want it? Can you get it? Champy, do you want one? No, you have to do your hops. No, no. Want another one? Jump. 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 Get it. Come here. Jump. Get it, jump! Okay, I give it to you. Okay, since we ate breakfast at like 10.30, mm -hmm. we're eating lunch at five. We call this Linner. We have our maple syrup pulled. pulled pork with rice, guacamole, raw milk cheddar, some corn, and some pepitas, which we discovered are pumpkin seeds. So we're gonna eat that, take out these two little beggars, and then head over to Keith Urban. We are here 
at the Coastal Credit Union Amphitheater at Walnut Creek. It's one long ass name for a place. <laughs> it's literally 10 minutes from the house. We've already parked and the gates don't open till 6.30. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. This is much different than Illinois. When you go to a concert in Illinois, first of all, at 6 p.m. you'd be driving in traffic and second of all, you could not get parked in a parking lot in two minutes. No. So, yeah. Raleigh, this is nice because you're small. <laughs> and I have all the glary sun. We're just going to sit here for 20 minutes doing nothing. All right, you ready for your first act? She's coming up in just a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, on the way, Kelsey Ballerini! A temporary evacuation. The folks that are under the pavilion here can stay where you are. I need to, I need to ask the folks on the lawn and anyone who's not under cover to head back to your cars for shelter as we have weather that is going to come here and be on us shortly. This is for your safety. As soon as this storm passes, we will get you all back in. You can follow us on social media. Oh, gee. One over here. Let's see, let's see, let's see right here. Stage. Stage for concert, stage four concert, but oh, stage four cancer, but you're here. Seriously, baby. Come on here. Come on. Sherry, where are you from? Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie, where are you from? Carrie, North Carolina. Oh, Carrie, North Carolina. Sherry from Carrie. <laughs> what are the chances? Stances? What do you do in Carrie? I have a commercial cleaning company. Okay. Who are you here with tonight? <laughs> My great friend. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Elizabeth. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Elizabeth from Cary. Sherry from Cary. You just made my dreams come true. You have stage four cancer, but you are here tonight. You're unbelievable, baby. Unbelievable. Absolutely. I'm glad you're here. Celebrate it. That's what it's all about. You should get, you get a pic, let's get a picture of something, Because if we don't film it, it didn't happen. Is that Elizabeth? Elizabeth, come up here, baby. Come up here. <laughs> you guys just talk among yourselves, man. Waited five hours. And... Come on, Elizabeth, how are you, baby? Come up here. Hey, hey. All right. Come out here. So how, 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 do you know, how do you know each other? How do you know, Sharon? <laughs> we work together. Okay. So just the two of you here tonight? Yes. <laughs> we should get a picture of all three of us that we really good. Turn so, this thing around. Let's get you off Tinder. <laughs> oh, that was my insult voice. Let's get the whole crowd in. Here, come this way. I thought her name was 
Yeah, like an hour because it was gonna, it rained and stormed, so they had to evacuate everybody on the lawn and they didn't let Keith Urban come on stage until the storm passed and everyone was back in. So I didn't get to hear my two favorite songs because he had to end it a little bit short. He wanted to keep playing, but he was not allowed to. And it's really hot and our feet hurt, but it was fun. Mm -hmm. And he was really good. And now I need to go home and take showers because we were just covered in sweat. 